Over the last 20 plus years, I have been able to help thousands of golfers improve their game. And my goal is always to help people improve as quickly as possible, whether it's here on my YouTube channel, uh, when you come to one of my golf schools or in private lessons. My goal is that you leave in better shape than when you came in. And that goes for this video as well. So I'm gonna help share some techniques uh, that I use to help people improve very quickly uh, with you today. If you're a senior golfer that used to be decent and now you're having trouble hitting the ball, uh, this is going to tell you exactly what you need to do to start simplifying your golf swing so that you can improve your game very quickly. If you're a newer golfer uh, struggling to improve, I'm going to show you exactly here what you need to do. First, do me a huge favor, click the red subscribe button below. It helps my channel grow. It notifies you when new videos come out. Click the bell to accept notifications. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps a lot. When we're working here and talking about simplification, um, I've taught the single plane swing concept uh, since about 1996. And uh, in the beginning, it was based off the swing uh, that I learned from studying the, the videos of Mo Norman. Uh, who was a well-known but very unorthodox uh, golfer uh, who was known for hitting the ball really straight. So I learned a lot from Mo, uh, but I've taken over the years, I found a way to help take this simple concept of setting up on your impact plane and swinging on a single plane uh, to the masses so that I can help anybody improve. And I'm gonna talk about that here, but really the first most important point you need to understand, uh, and I learned golf conventionally, uh, with, which is where we have uh, the arms hanging down from the shoulders like this, and the club out at an angle. Uh, the problem with this, every golfer who's swinging a golf club, what you'll see at impact, the club goes to this position where it lines up with the trailing arm. The wrists become uncocked or in ulnar deviation, uh, and the problem with that is as people get older or if you don't have time to hit millions of golf balls, uh, to get the timing necessary to move here from here to here, which is actually moving the club head away from your body at impact. If, if you don't have time to hit all those golf balls to get used to that motion, uh, you're going to have a difficult time uh, becoming consistent at golf. Bryson DeChambeau plays on tour um, and he sets up in this position uh, and he's on record saying he doesn't understand why anybody uh, would, would choose to not set up this way because we know at impact we're going to be there and uh, setting up there just makes the game a lot more difficult. I found this to be the biggest game changer is simply uh, setting up on your impact plane. So all you need to do to give this a try is once you're set up to the golf ball is to simply raise the hands up to the position where the wrists are in an uncocked position like that. So you can see I went from, from here to here. I'm not changing my distance from the ball. It's not necessary to change how your body moves. It's only necessary to change, to start out, change that position of going from here to here. To me, it's absolutely crazy seeing people trying over and over again for years after year after year to improve at the game and simply uh, struggle and not improve. In most cases, people are working their backswing for years, hundreds of other uh, different things in the golf swing, uh, and when just simply changing your setup position will make it easier to hit good golf shots. So once we're set up in this position here, uh, it looks like that, and I'm not far away from the ball, so that's what I learned uh, from teaching and playing uh, the Mo Norman type swing. What I learned was uh, the distance from the ball is a big problem for creating speed, but also becoming accurate. Uh, it really held people back, and in most cases, people struggled badly uh, to become consistent and to hit the ball uh, the proper distance. So with moving closer to the ball and setting up still with the club on our impact plane. Now all I need to do is move the club back and through naturally. And 
it becomes very easy to hit good golf shots. So I'm not really changing anything else. I'm just getting set up here. And then it's back and through. Once I get you set up in this position and the grip, the way we hold the club is customizable for each golfer. Don't get uh, caught up in trying to copy another golfer. I made that mistake uh, trying to copy Moe's grip, trying to copy Bryson's grip exactly. And what I found is that each individual needs to find the grip strength that's going to allow when we make this move to square up the golf club. It allows us to square up the golf club without having to manipulate the club at all. And so uh, with this setup, putting the trailing hand in the right position will put us in a position where we won't have uh, to pronate or have arm rotation in order to square up the golf club. So it's really important getting that in position and getting it lined up here properly so that when we make this swing and we get the club moving back and through impact that we can have the face square. Again, my goal to help you improve as quickly as possible. If you come to a golf school, a lesson, my online learning program, which allows you to send in videos for my review, I want you moving forward. I want you improving. If you're not, we're working on the wrong thing. So uh, step by step, simplifying the motion is what's going to help you improve. So again, I have you start with my program moving slowly and working on getting the grip leading the club head through impact. Uh, and because of the setup, I found it's much easier for people to learn how to do this uh, than it was with conventional golf or the conventional setup, uh, which made it virtually impossible to actually develop that impact that we see all the pros using. So you'll see in other videos on my channel, you'll see uh, a lot of videos where I'm showing how the pros are moving through impact, which is what keeps the face square through impact, gives you that flat spot and gives you also a straight spot through impact, as well as allowing us to hit the center of the face. So once we're set up, I'll have you just hitting some short shots first and working on getting the club through the impact position. As as you're practicing and you can verify on video to see if the grip is leading through impact. And that's what I recommend people do with the free V1 Golf app is really working to get to see on video. We wanna see the grip in front of the leading leg at impact as the legs are straightening. So I would then work really slowly here like that. And once you hit a few good ones, then you can move to fuller swings. I'm on the back of the range here, which allows me to film a little bit without having people in the way. And so the grass is a little shaggy here sometimes. I'll make a little bit more swing here. The beauty dead straight. So check out my website at setupforimpact.com for more information. Uh, there's a free email series there as well as my online learning program. You can just get access to my simple, easy to learn uh, drills and learning program, as well as information on my upcoming schools around the country. So please let me know if you have any questions, uh, put them in the box below. All comments are welcomed. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.